Hi, my name is Barry Crampton. Uh, I've been sent the ThinkCar OBD 900, um, and I, I'm, I'm quite, I feel quite honoured and, and proud to have been sent it. It's a, it's a pre-production model. They have sent me other diagnostic machines to test in the past, and honestly, hand on heart, they've, they've saved me a fortune. I'm a car dealer. I'm not a mechanical wizard at, at all. I, I know my way around the car, but these things have saved me th thousands of pounds in, in, in one case and I, I will I'll try and show you how um, now the ones is the ones they've sent me before this uh, gosh where is it they sent me this one which is beautiful machine and that's the dongle there that's a, a Bluetooth dongle just hides in there and plugs in it's, it's very nice and actually it's, it's possibly a bit too nice to work. It's all right for me working on nice clean cars, but it's, um, it's probably a bit too nice to let, let some uh, oily, oily rag in the, the workshop use and get full of oil and so on. This is a brilliant one as well. That just plugs in the OBD socket and uh, then you use your, your iPhone as the screen. Again, you don't want to be doing that in, in, in the workshop. You don't want a 13, 1400 quid phone lying around the workshop or leaning on or getting full of oil. So anyway, the, so they sent me this. Now then, now we're talking. It's, it's a proper kind of heavy duty with a lead. And I'll just show you this. When I... It's a, it's a pre-production model, so it's not really a test. I'm just showing you what it's like and, and what, what it's, it's got pre-production software in as well. So it's, uh, it's not the finished, or it's not the end product. But if I just go on here on, on Kickstarter, it's 180% uh, oversubscribed or 180% above the target that they, they wanted before they put it into production. So they've, they've taken these orders this is it. So back to this project. Select pledge without a reward. Read more of the campaign. So I'll just do this slowly. I'll, I'll slow it down so you can read it. There you go. That's what it does. Full OBD2 functions, read codes, clear codes. Mill fault indicator light, live data. Uh, I think actually, as you get further down, it does show you the, <laughs> what should be the early bird offers and they've spelt it wrong. There you go, the early bird <laughs> spectral. A uh, couple of spelling mis Having said that, I think I'd have a few spelling mistakes if I was trying to do it in Chinese, so. I, and also, one of the other things that I, I, I would like to say that when they sent me these things, a couple of things I, I couldn't understand. I emailed them and they were straight back to me. You know, it, it's, it, well, it's, good, it's good to know. It's, uh, it's good to know that they, they will help you. But that, that's, that's it all. And those are the special offers. There's only a few being made so far, as I say, they're, they're pre-productions. So, nice and heavy, like you'd want in a workshop. A thick handle, put on the hook. This apparently will go through a car window, if you're not careful. That will, has got something like a braking strain of 1.2 tonnes, so you could, you could tow a, a flipping car with it. That, that's what you need in a workshop, because they're always getting pulled and stretched and you, you move away and it's still plugged in. And also, what, the other thing I like about it is, that one over there you have to keep charged up. Inevitably, when you really need it, 
you come to it and the battery's flat, so you, you end up having to charge it before you can use it. This, I think it goes in this way. And I'll, let me just try and find where the slot is. So there you go, it switches on. Diagnose, I am readiness, review, look up, info. That's the setup if, if you're just going to set up. It's just your units of measure and so on. But uh, back out like so, help. Now on my other ones, what I always do, this is, I always do this with all our cars. When they come in, the first thing I need to do is check if there's any lights on. Uh, <laughs> the most important thing to check is if there has been any lights on. That's usually when a customer's trying to pull the wool over your eyes or another dealer's trying to pull the wool over your eyes and they've just stopped up the road, knocked the, the warning lights off and then lo and behold, you buy the car, three days later a warning light comes on. But here we go. So you've got diagnose there, so on to diagnose and you will notice it switches on straight away. The other one you have to go through it has to recognize the car. This, you just plug in, click OK, diagnose. And you'll see here, it's going through the system, which one it is. That's the one with the tick. So mill status off. Trouble codes in the CCU, zero. Readiness completed, readiness not completed. So everything's all right. Readiness not supported. That in itself tells you a, a a story. If I'll just go back out here, click back out there. If there was any codes in, you could go to erase codes. But I want I am readiness. Click on there, and you'll see there ticks. Is all ticks. It's all ready. Sometimes it takes between four to seven drives, or well, usually three, but. To be, to be on the safe side, four to seven before all the all those are ready. There's all green ticks. If there weren't green tick, green ticks, then then I would be immediately suspicious because I would think it's just been cleared and these systems aren't ready to be checked properly. Anyway, we'll go back out of there, and then you've got data stream there. Actually, no, we'll go go back, diagnose. Okay, we'll get into that screen and then we. You've got erasing data over there. We'll go over to data, click OK. View all items or select items. I'm going to view all items and I'll try and show you what um, it, it says there, get supported data loading. This is what I look for when, I, when I, I'm buying a car. So all, the, all this stuff it shows you. Calculated load value, engine coolant temperature, no, nothing out of the ordinary, nothing jumps out there. What I want to go down to here, intake air temperature, distance traveled whilst MIL is activated, zero miles. So that's, that's good. It's not been driven with a warning light on. Then I go down here, distance traveled since DTC's cleared, 2,445 miles. So it had a problem 2,445, well, not necessarily a problem, but cars, when they're on a full court, people jumping in, the batteries go flat, you, you start them, you jump start them. It brings all sorts of lights on uh, in some cases. So it can be quite, you know, it can be quite innocent. So anyway, 2,445 miles ago, um, and then, so I'm quite happy with that. It's, it's quite it's driven around for 2,445 miles without a reoccurrence of whatever it was. So you can safely say if there was a problem, then it will have been it was fixed. Let's see, just go down here. Just let me find it. Distance travelled, oxygen sensor. So back up. There you go. Number of warm-ups since trouble codes cleared, and it's saying there 129. Let me just go back out of here and I'll show you. And you can select individual items. That's all the items. So you can select individual items. So on to select individual items. Click OK. That's loading. There you go. 
So again, we, we go down here, vehicle speed, if you just wanted that one to show, absolute throttle position, time since engine start, that one was distance travel while mill is activated, number of warm-ups since DTC's cleared. So that's, that's what I'm looking for, make sure that's over seven to start off with. So I'll click OK. I just have to click, as I say, it is pre-production software, this. Number of warm-ups since DTC's cleared, 129. So I, I know it's, it's a pretty accurate uh, view. Uh, th this, this is brilliant, and it's very, very cheap as well. Um, especially if you buy it on, kick, on Kickstarter, uh, you, you can get a massive discount on it if you, if you um, pre-order it. Let's just go back. View all graphic items. And you, you've also got these quick keys here. EVAP system. Oxygen sensors. We'll click on there. There you go, bank one sensors. And that's giving you all that information. Freeze frame. Let's just, we'll go back there, sorry. I'm, I am in quite a hurry to do this. We're mad busy at work today. That's getting the graphic data. And just, uh, we'll take it down to something where you can see it move. So, oops, gone too far, engine revs, click OK. Oh, sorry, I've just got to click back there on this pre-production software. I think that will probably change once it's uh, once it's in production. Right, so there you go. That's showing you a graph. There you go. You can always you can always see faults better with a graph. You know there'll be a spike where there shouldn't be, as opposed to trying to look at uh, figures. It, it, it's just a lot easier. But as you can see there, hopefully there. Um, it's showing the revs. It's uh, <laughs> this is going to be something I'm, I'm <laughs> I carry I carry this round with me everywhere I go. Th that that is fantastic with my iPhone when I'm clean. If it's a really technical job, I use that one. If it's in the workshop or somewhere where it's going to get some hard use, um, I'm going to be using this one. As I say, I, I'm so grateful to the to the people. I have a small YouTube channel. I've been in the car job a, a long, long time. I've done more than my first year of diagnostics. In the old days, it was kind of trial and error. You just kept replacing stuff until you found the right thing. Now with this, with these diagnostic machines, we did an oxygen sensor on a Jag the other day. There was a fault on it. I'm not kidding, you would never ever have found the fault. It was intermittent, um, it, it was putting the, the car in limp mode, you'd just never have found it, it could be anything. I plugged, uh, sorry, I plugged that one in because this one hadn't come yet, and it, it took us straight to the oxygen sensor. We replaced it, that was it. Me and, me and John, we, we, we're a bit creaky now, don't like bending over bonnets. But even even we can use this stuff. Um, honestly, it's it's an absolute godsend, and it's cheap enough just to have in your toolkit as well. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video, and uh, thanks again to th to Think Car. I, I'm, I really really appreciate it. You've no idea how much it means. Thank you. See you in the next video. Bye bye.